What's happening, folks? Aaron Batal here. Um, I've been hashtagging Daily Dapper. I don't really have a name for this right now. Um, it's sort of just an exploration of passions of mine. And if you guys can glean any information from it, absolutely more power to you. I hope maybe seeing some of my hobbies, maybe seeing some of the results of my research will inspire you to do some research of your own. Maybe get into some of these hobbies. Maybe learn through my mistakes that this hobby is not for you. And that's really it. So as this develops, I'll come up with a name. You know, I will try and maybe have a couple of different series. But for now, it's just let's get this rolling. Let's make some videos and let's show you guys some stuff. So in my last video, I don't know why I point to my left. Um, you know, if you think about it, is left the last, right the next? Anyway. In my most recent video, my previous video, I showed off my Ashland Leather Fat Herbie wallet. And in talking to the Ashland Leather guys, it really got me inspired to try and make something out of leather and, and see. I've always liked leather. I've had leather jackets. I had a friend that owned a leather company that made uh, jackets and, and vests and motorcycle stuff, chaps, or shaps, if you want to pronounce them properly. But uh, assless shaps just doesn't sound as good. Um, another side point. If shaps have an ass, they're just pants without a crotch. Which would be awkward. Um, which is why to be shaps, they must not have a front or, or an ass. So assless chaps seems redundant, doesn't it? Anywho, so after this small mental sidetrack... I want to show you guys, I made a, a watch band. I bought some leather off of Maverick Leather, and they had some their trimmings of the hides that Horween makes cordovan out of and some other different tannages. Um, I actually have a piece of natural, and it's pretty cool. It's got some interesting marks to it, and it's not quite leather. It's not quite cordovan, kind of in the middle. But this one is a uh, navy blue chrome excel tanned horse butt. And I just want to show it to you. Um, I didn't take any manufacturing videos of me making it because I had a hunch that it was going to be have a couple of missteps along the way. I'm going to aim the camera down and show it to you and explain to you what happened. And show it to you and see what you think. Make sure any opinions in the comments, any questions... Um, I don't really do links to the stuff I use because I don't necessarily always buy stuff. Some of it's stuff I have laying around, like the uh, thread I used, which is sitting on my table right next to where the camera is, so you can't see it. But the thread I used, I've had for years. I got it from work. It's actually made by a company no longer in business. And it's way too thick to do what I did with it, so it made the band look a little funky. Anywho, I am going to aim the camera down so that you can see what's on the table more. I'm going to turn on a light, which may make the rest of the room, like in my last video, look really dark, but it's just so that you can see what's going on really well. All right, it's uh, going to be a snap for you. Obviously, this takes me a couple of minutes, so check it out. Let's say right. Okay, so as you see here, I have my old Citizen watch. Now, this is nothing special. It's a quartz watch. Um, it's got a chronometer, uh, sorry, it's a chronograph and it has a date complication, but really nothing special. I hope this thing focuses. I can't really see in the screen how well this is focused, so hopefully it's pretty good. Um, anywho, the, this is the band. It's kind of a steel blue color is the best way I can explain it. Um, it does have quite a bit of pull-up, and the color kind of changes as you wear it. It's actually got quite a bit lighter um, as it's stretched. But a couple of things. I made it real simple. I just did a fold with a, with a knot at each side. And then I made a double-wide, um, I don't know what you would call this, uh, strap holder or, or excess holder for when the end is, is going around. Um, a couple of things you'll notice, the holes aren't straight. The first time I made this bit, I actually made it too tight so that I couldn't even get the strap in. And you'll notice this tacky bright blue buckle. We can thank my uh, 
stupidity buying stuff on Amazon for that. I was like, oh, maybe it'll match the subdials, but it doesn't match anything. It just looks kind of cheesy. Um, and other than that, I mean, it's it came out okay. I I made it a straight strap, it's 18 millimeters, but I definitely the next strap I will make, I'm gonna try and go through these holes with less revolution so it's not so fat. As you can see, it kind of stands out. But other than that, I've been wearing it and it works. Um, it holds the watch on. I only put three holes as a little sign that this is bespoke for me and it's not gonna fit anybody else. But I definitely would say a couple of things. Um, I made this side a little too short. I tried to make it so that it would fall right at the middle of my wrist. But I was a little short on that one. And this strap, having a little bit more length on this side allows you to move, say, this piece so it's not right by the buckle. So overall, I'm going to call this a success for my first watch strap. And I have to say, I hope everybody likes it. And it wasn't much. I mean, we're talking like $20 worth of supplies and I was able to make a watch strap. And yes, it's unfinished on the edges. I just tried, you know, learning how to use this stuff, the gum tragacanth and the burnisher in there. Um, as I said, the next strap's gonna come out better and, and every one that I make after this will come out better. Um, when you fold the leather, it tends to shrink it in a little bit. So we've got a little play here, but really not bad. Um, anywho, that's my watch band. I hope you all like it. I'll put a couple of beauty shots at the end with some of me playing guitar. And everybody, I hope you're surviving this crazy apocalypse scenario and uh, get along okay. Have a great evening, folks.